Assalamualaikum everyone and good morning. Um, today we are going to continue with our last subtopic for chapter nine. Hit uh, subtopic nine point four: relationship between type of surface of object and heat absorption and emission. Okay, first thing that we need to know is what is heat absorption and what is heat emission. Heat absorption meaning the ability of the of the object to absorb heat. Okay, the ability of the object to absorb heat. While heat emission is the ability of the object to release heat. Okay, to release heat. Right. So we are going to see what is the relationship between the types of surface of objects with heat absorption and emission. Okay. Um, have you seen a fuel tank before? What color is the fuel tank that you usually see? If you ask me, I would say the usual color that I would say is silver. Okay. Uh, in this picture, we have a fuel tank with a white color. Have you ever wondered why haven't you seen a fuel tank with black color? There is a reason why they only use a bright color for fuel tank. We are going to see why. So fuel tank truck usually use bright colors such as white or silver okay uh, as I usually saw I uh, see uh, it is in silver color okay uh, why okay because bright color does to, does not absorb a lot of heat okay bright color does not absorb a lot of heat why we don't want heat to be absorbed okay why we don't want heat to be absorbed into the tank what is inside the tank is fuel okay there are fuel inside the tank okay fuel is uh, something that can easily evaporate when it reach its boiling point okay they can uh, no sorry easily evaporates at any temperature okay at hot temperature they can easily evaporate okay and fuel usually being uh, brought in a fuel tank trunk to um, to uh, send it to the station gas stations okay. and usually the gas stations is far away from each other okay imagine if um, between the gas stations or in the journey during the journey there are a lot of fuel is evaporated because of the heat because of heat uh, because of hot temperature there is a lot of there is a lot of fuel that is um, evaporates okay evaporates so what does that mean means that the company will suffer a loss because the volume of the fuel is decreasing when they are transported so that is why we use a bright color or a silver color for the fuel tank trunk so that we can reduce the evaporation of fuel we can reduce the evaporation of fuel by um, controlling the uh, temperature okay by uh, making sure that there are not a lot of heat is being absorbed okay so the ability of an object to absorb or radiate heat radiate heat is another word for emission okay it's another word for emission or emit heat okay it depends on the two things on the first on the type of the surface and the second one is the color of the surface so these two uh, plays a role in absorption or emission of heat or radiation of heat okay let's see we have two types of surface okay we have dark and dull surface and we have white and shiny surface we are going to see which one of these two are good heat absorbers and 
are a good heat radiators. Which one is a good heat absorbers and which one is a good heat radiators? To do that, we are going to do an experiment. So the first experiment is to find out which one of those two types of object is a good heat absorber. When an object absorbs heat, the temperature increases. This is our principle in our um, experiment. Okay, this is the principle in our experiment. When an object absorbs heat, the temperature increases. So we are going to see, okay, two objects. Okay, we have milk can. One milk can that is painted in white. Another one is milk can is painted in black. Okay. We have a Bunsen burner on a wooden block in the middle of them, between them. Okay, why? Because this is our source of heat. Okay, this is our source of heat. Okay, we will see which one of the milk can, milk can J or milk can K that can absorb heat. That can absorb heat better. Which one is a better heat absorber? Is it milk can K or milk can K? J. Okay, to do that, we are going to, to uh, record the temperature. We are going to record the initial temperature of both milk can and we are going to record the final temperature of both milk can. Which one, which milk can that have higher temperature increase is a better heat absorber. Okay, right. So we record the temperature of the food, uh, the milk can, before and after initial and final. So for uh, the initial temperature should be the same. We have to fix the initial temperature, and we will heat uh, both milk can, okay, uh, in the same time, okay, with the same duration of time, and then we record the final temperature. The final temperature is for milk can J, the final temperature is 40. For milk can K, the final temperature is 55. Now we will see the difference. For milk can J, the increase in temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. For milk can K, the increase in temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Now, from these results, which one? between milk can J or milk can K is a good is a better heat absorber. That is right, milk can milk can K. So milk can K is a half a dark and dull surface. So this shows that a dark and dull surface are a better heat absorber. Okay, that is why if you wear a black shirt compared if you are wearing a white shirt, you will feel a lot warmer when you are wearing a black shirt. Okay, because dark surface are a better heat absorber. Okay, you can relate this in your daily life as well. Okay. So if you have anything black, it will be a better heat absorber. If you have anything white, it is a not a good heat absorber. Okay. Now we are going to do an experiment for heat radiator or heat emitter. Okay, which one of these two um, dark and dull surface or bright and shiny surface? is a good heat radiator or heat emitter. When an object radiates heat, the temperature decreases. Okay? The temperature decreases. So we are going to see whether this uh which milk can painted in white or milk can painted in black have a higher temperature decrease because when the temperature decreases it shows that they can radiate heat. If the temperature decrease is big, it shows that the surface can radiate heat better. So in this experiment, we are going to put a milk can uh, 
we are going to put a hot water that have the same initial temperature okay same initial temperature inside a milk can that is painted white and a milk can that is painted black okay we are going to let them cool okay for a same amount of time then we will measure the final temperature which of this milk can will have a larger temperature decrease so the temperature for the initial milk can is the same it is 90 degrees celsius we have to fix this variable okay we will in, uh, use 90 degrees celsius hot water and put it inside both milk can and then after 30 minutes we will measure the temperature again the final temperature for milk can J is 80 while final temperature for milk can K is 65 the decrease in temperature for milk can J is 10 degrees celsius while the decrease in temperature in milk can K is 25 degrees celsius now which one of milk can J or K is a better heat radiator? That is right, milk can K because the temperature decrease is, is bigger. Yes, good. So this shows that dark and dull surface are a better heat radiators. Okay, as they are a good heat absorber, they are also a good heat radiator heat can be emitted from them easily rather than bright and shiny surface so now we will come to the conclusion between dark and dull surface and white and shiny surface dark and dull surface is a better heat absorber and dark and dull surface is also a better heat radiator compared to white and shiny surfaces. Now, we are going to see heat concept in daily life. A green building concept is an idea developed to reduce effects of rapid development on the environment and our health. The features of green buildings would be have a high energy efficiency through the uses of solar energy or renewable energy it mean it means that high energy efficiency meaning there are less uh, heat that is um, uh, that are wasted because uh, most of the heat energy is being used effectively okay that means high energy efficiency and they are used uh, they are using the renewable energy or solar energy that can be renewable they also have a good water flow system and air circulation and lighting okay, because they are going to save energy. They want to save energy. The last one, they use recycled materials because they want to uh, reduce the effect of uh, reduce the effect to our environment and our, our health. So this is a green building concept. With that, we are finished with our subtopic 9.4 and that also concludes that we also finish our chapter 9 heat. So I will see you in the next video for our chapter 10. As usual, after finish uh, hearing these um, lessons, I will give you quizzes exercise okay, in your WhatsApp group. Please do that exercise and screen cap your score and upload it in your book, uh, WhatsApp group as well and that will be given as your participation mark don't forget to um, write down three things that you have learned in this video in the comment section below that is also will be given you participation mark with that I will see you in the next video for our next lesson in our next class thank you